Shea Dixon of the Bengal Tiger and On3 here with uh, five-star Jamie French, receiver uh, at the On3 Elite Series here in Nashville. Uh, just got in. Your week will begin, but your yeah. week will end with a trip to Baton Rouge, yeah. LSU. Uh, your first official visit. Uh, tell LSU fans, I guess, how this one came to be set up uh, after Joe Sloan and Cortez Hankton and the staff have kind of been on you pretty heavy uh, over the past few months. Man, they just been I mean, really have you know, Coach Sloan, Coach Hankton, they all been really just let me know where I should be, you know, just getting that OB set up, just getting another opportunity to get out to the target land. That's pretty much all. What are you looking for this weekend out of an official visit? As things begin, LSU being your first, you've already visited LSU, so what what do you do on an official visit? Man, just check off those extra boxes, those pros and cons, what do they have that others don't, what do they do have that others don't, you know, just stuff like that. Bryce Underwood, when you hear the name, what comes to mind? Gunslinger, Gunslinger, man, he's a good dude off the field, man, he's a good dude on the field, man, for sure. When you uh, think about the schools that are in play here, right. a guy like Underwood being committed to LSU, how does that factor in for a receiver? Man, big time, he's the number one quarterback in the nation. He knows what he's doing on the field, so, just being able to put the ball wherever he wants, man, that's a big part factor for me, for sure. When you look at your future, I assume you want to play in the NFL. Oh, yeah. Uh, LSU that. had a couple first-round picks this year, yeah. receiver, obviously a quarterback, but receiver has been one that they've always turned out high-level picks. How long have you looked at LSU as uh, a school you wanted to be an option? Man, for a long time, I've been liking LSU for a since a kid, man. My family stays right in Matt Rouge, man. Really? Yeah, so it's only three of us in my family who's from Jacksonville. So, man, LSU's been a school I've been looking at for a long time, so I'm very familiar with it. There's some scoop for us there. We didn't yeah, know you had definitely. Baton Rouge roots. We thought oh, yeah, you were all yeah. Florida. Yeah, yeah. My family says there's only three of us from Jacksonville. Well, uh, LSU finished number one in the country last year in total offense. Joe yeah, Sloan yeah. takes over as OC. You know him well. But you've known Cortez Hankton a long time. Let's wrap it up there. What's your relationship dating back to Georgia? His time yeah. to Georgia. Man, he offered me as a, as a freshman at a camp, man. So just letting him know how he feel about me as a young pup, you know, just letting me know where our relationship was at. You know, he trusted me when I was young, so that's pretty much it. We've, uh, you were a one-time Bama commit. Obviously, they had a coaching change, but you name it, Ohio State, Texas, all these big schools yeah. are after you. LSU seems to always be in that conversation, though. Where do they stand going into official visits? Man, they're number two right now, right, at, right behind Texas. You know, uh, those three schools, Texas, you know, LSU, Miami, Tennessee, those schools, Ohio State, they're all in the race right now. They're all going to get a fair chance for the junior leagues. Well, Jamie French here, one of the best receivers in the 2025 class. Thanks for joining us, and good Thank luck you. with everything. Thank you.